Greetings everyone, and welcome to my playthrough of Serious Sam The First Encounter. This time I can say for sure that we will be tackling only one level, because it's a very long one. Without further delay, let's try to get into Karnak. Okay, now quick, quick, yes, I made it. Generous Yard. Whoops, okay. I didn't knew that this dude was over here. But this is one of my favorite secrets in this level. The problem is you have only a couple of seconds to actually enter this place once uh, the level loads up. Because uh, I think the door closes like 2 or 3 seconds after you drop into the level. Because this is the courtyard that we went through in the last cutscene, in the last level. But yeah, if you won't manage to get in here in those first couple of seconds... Whoops, did I do that? Sorry. But yeah, if you won't manage to get here in those first few seconds, then basically... There is no other way to enter this place other than using cheat codes. Anyone else? Okay, that's it. Hey, I cannot pick grenades up because I'm full, but at least I got some bullets and some extra cannonballs, so that's always good. And yeah, from this end the door will open without any problems, but once they close like that, there is no way back. Also, a fun fact, this secret also exists in the demo version of the level. So, if you launch Serious Sam and go to Karnak demo, then as soon as you drop into the level, just backpedal and you will drop... Whoa! And you will drop into that room. I mean, into that courtyard. Just the difference is there will be no giant lizards, the walkers, or anything of the sort. It's just going to be uh, a courtyard with a couple of items that will help you to go through the demo. Now, I'm pretty sure that there was... yes, this this is it, but there's one more to go. Okay, it has to be on the other end. Because this elevator can be activated. Ah, there we go. I'm not quite sure what is here. Well, okay, cannonballs, that's always good, and I cannot pick them up because I'm already at maximum. And nothing in there. Okay, so I can just go forward. You know, using the knife is always kind of satisfying, but only on the weaker enemies. Okay, might switch to something with more ammunition. Oh, 
Ah, oh, there you are. I could go with the lightning gun, but it uses ammo so fast that I don't think it's worth it. Okay, and I cannot go in here. Gotta go to the side. I wonder if it's going to spawn any more enemies if I pick these up. Oh, one more left. Nothing? Okay, I'm kinda disappointed. Yeah, I know that it's almost kind of like in cartoons, you enter an empty courtyard and then all of a sudden guys come from a tiny hiding space, but it's always funny to me. Okay, and I think that's all of them. Well, almost. Okay, that was slightly worrying for a moment, but I guess the screaming moron was behind the lava golem, so that's always good. I honestly expected things to be a little bit worse here. And yes, I'm gonna run around to check all the secrets and stuff like that, so... Okay, let's switch to this. I know that I technically have my... Uh, you could say my trusty shotgun, but in all honesty I've been using this weapon so long, so often, that I'm just kinda bored of it. It's still a good weapon. Okay, I don't think I can enter there. At least not just yet. Like I said, don't get me wrong, I am still saying that the Super Shotgun is pretty good, especially in this game. Good spread, good damage, it's, it's really enjoyable. But when you have to use only one kind of weapon all the time, then eventually it just gets... Yeah, kind of stale. Okay, now I'm not sure if I get in here now to activate the mechanism in the Sphinxes, or... Yes, now. Okay, I can use the shotgun for these guys, but I'd rather not risk it with the scorpions. I have only a lot of health and armor, and I'm not sure if I should be happy about this. But I finally learned to dodge, or maybe I should be waiting for something bad to happen. Hmm. 
And then again, I'm almost 100% sure that... Yeah, to that I will have an unpleasant surprise waiting for me outside because that was the sound of the lava golem. But I think that's it. Okay, I forgot not to get too close to these guys because that can hurt. Okay, and now let's take care of these guys. I'm still saying the same thing, I'd rather be using a sniper rifle. Sadly, I have to wait until second encounter for this one. Whoops, okay, that... That's what I was talking about. Thankfully I have no worries about... Whoops, about using the cannon. Yeah, I knew it. I had... I had the armor on for way too long. I think these are cannonballs, I could use those. Alright. Yes, I know that I'm wasting them on this dude, but... Well, on these guys, on skeletons. But I have no regrets about this. As for using... Uh, the, uh, the cannon, I think that's actually pretty awesome because, I mean, technically it counts as an explosive weapon because these cannonballs will explode after a moment, but I think that's the only explosive weapon that, is, uh, that does not pose a threat when you use it up close against enemies. So, that's always enjoyable. Okay, let's see what else do they have in store for me. Well, definitely more ammo. And I'm happy about that. But I really could use some armor right now too. Okay, I did press it. Okay, now I did. Okay, I'm not quite sure how he actually managed to hit me. Considering that he was just standing there, unless it was just lag. And the game still considered it to be... Hmm. And the game still considered it to be... Uh, like an ending of his attack. Hmm, let's see... Because I know I cannot just go past them because this dude is sleeping on the key. And I don't think I can knife him, but I can Skip do button, this. Oh, come on, his body actually... His body actually stopped the 
They have a cannonball? That's kind of weird. Okay, it looks funny, but at least it works. Okay, let's switch to this. Of course, there had to be these guys at the very end. The arena wouldn't be complete without them. Thankfully, there's some health over here. I know that technically there is a way to do this in a sneaky way, but I have no idea how, absolutely no idea. Hey. Who out the and light? now I'm like... Yeah, thank you, Sam. And this is actually a pretty mean secret. Because you can't see anything in this fog. So the only thing that actually kind of helps you is basically looking at your crosser and hoping that you can aim at someone. I should have picked this armor a bit earlier. Whoops. Not okay. I I think that went actually pretty well. Whoops. Okay. Wow, he's actually pretty strong. I had no idea these things could destroy the environment. Okay, one from this end, one from this side. By the way, I'm saying this like that not because I already know what's going to happen, like they said I played this ages ago. And this is actually my first recording. I mean, I still managed not to die yet, so that's something. But it's, I'm basically kind of expecting from which side these guys are going to come at me, so that's, you know, ju just something that I'm saying just like that. Mm, okay, I cannot enter this place just yet. And it seems that the game is actually kind of mm, calmed down about punishing you for picking up stuff. I mean, it still spawns enemies, but it's not as bad as it used to be. Now that is a swimming pool I would love to have. Whoops. Okay, maybe not.
Might as well just switch the grenade launcher because these guys are close enough to just deal with them like that. Oh, there's two of them left, okay. And there we go. Okay, let's check. Not many bullets, no cells. Hmm. I don't exactly like this, but that's what I gotta work with. Okay, where's the skeleton? Unless the big guy actually blew it up, so in that case, thanks. No, okay, let's deal with you first. And now with you. I know that I should be prioritizing enemies, but at times I'm just kind of forgetting what I'm doing. Hmm. I know that there is some stuff over there. But I also know that it's a very mean trap. So I might as well just wait a little bit until I get some more ammo because I don't want to risk it. Okay, we cannot get in through the front door. We gotta take a swim, but that's not that bad. I'm pretty sure this is a trap too. Ah, screw it, never mind. Mm, no, I'll switch to the normal shotgun, that's gonna be way easier. You know what? I can actually live with this. I can work with this one. Because it's just about running to the sides for now and... ...trying to kill these guys off. It would be way more unpleasant if they suddenly decided to throw the skeletons in. But thankfully they did not. Also, I gotta admit, I really love the atmosphere of this night level. It looks wonderful. And that's also kind of a funny thing because... I also have Sirius Sam HD, both the first and the second encounters. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to like this at the game or something. Okay, there's definitely a secret. Okay. Okay, I know there's a secret. Please turn off the music. Thank you. So like I said, I'm not trying to... ...miss on the game or something like that, because the HD version also looks beautiful. The models are wonderful, everything else looks just great. But the thing is that it just doesn't have the same feel. I know that it might sound a little bit weird. 
nothing here, nothing, okay. I know that sounds a little bit weird, but it just doesn't have the same feel. So yeah, it looks beautiful, it's a really nice game. I mean, the levels are identical. But... It just, it just has a feeling of being a different game. I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't give that much of a nostalgia. Additionally, I think that Lightning is kind of busted in the HD version. Because the evening levels, like for example the Alley of the Sphinxes and uh, the Serpent Yards, don't look as nice as uh, as in the standard version, that's one thing. And also the night levels, like uh, the pit in the second encounter, and this level in the first encounter, they just don't look as nice. If anything, it looks like a very cloudy day. And there's also one more thing that... Uh, that the HD version does not do as well. And I'm not sure if I will be able to show it to you guys here, because I am not quite certain... I am not quite certain if I'll be able to find uh, this secret over here. But if I do, I will let you know. I mean, you will see this. But I'm going to bring this topic up again. Cool. <laughs> yes, it actually looks cool. Okay, I have everything I need. Whoops, okay. I don't like this. Mm, okay. Going back to the knife. Okay, I think that's all of them. So now let's try this one. Okay, how many grenades? 12, so that's not too good. This is actually a very mean trap because... Okay, from one side you have these screaming idiots. And from other side you have skeletons running at you. So they can... Shrink the distance between you and them very fast. Which means that your health will go to zero basically immediately in this combination. And these guys are basically set to completely ignore you until they cross a certain point. You see that they're running on one and on the other side. And they completely ignore you until you actually start shooting at them. You know what, I know that the secret that I'm thinking about should be somewhere around here, but I'm not not 100% on that if it's 
from explosives or something else? Hmm, I don't know. I'll try to look for it, but... No promises, sadly. Like I said, if I won't find this then, well, it's not the end of the world. I'll just be a little bit sad that I couldn't find the secret. Because it's one of those where... I'm 100% sure that I saw it at least once, but I have no idea how to repeat this again. Okay, but at least I got some goodies, some ammo armor that's always enjoyable. Lovely. Okay, but, uh, hmm, you know what, let's save and then I'll do the talking. Okay, so now I can tell what I wanted to uh, say in a moment. But basically the thing is that... Uh, Whoops, no, please stay away. But basically the thing is that... Uh, for some unknown reason, the HD version of uh, Serious Sam is not able to repeat one thing that the, eight, that the standard definition that this one does. And it's basically screwing with gravity. Because in this level, I'm 100% sure it's in this level. Hmm. Did I miss something? Now let me check because I might have missed something. Um, okay. No, technically I should be able to get in here. I think. Or maybe it's from this side? Yep! I switched the door. <laughs> My bad. But yeah, as I said, uh, the HD version of the game doesn't know how to mess with gravity, and this one does. It's kinda hard to describe it with just words, but I think it's actually over here. I think it's this swimming pool. Because I knew that this secret is in a swimming pool, I just did not know in which. So it's either from this end or from the other end. But you will see what I mean soon enough. Ah, this one. Okay, but it's not a boom secret. It's like that. Yep, this is it. There we go, a giant blob in the middle. Groovy. And this... Yeah, groovy. This is it. For some reason, the HD version of uh, this game, of this engine, never could repeat this. Which is kind of a shame, because while over here is just one secret that shows off what uh, the game engine can do, In the second encounter, like half of an entire level relied on these tricks. And I'm talking about the pit in uh, the first chapter of uh, the second encounter in South America. 
the pit, like I said, basically relied on these tricks. There was one room that's shaped like a giant tube and you had to run around it. Another one was where the gravity completely changed uh, and did a 180 in like a U-shaped room. And in HD version they had to change it because, well, I'm not quite sure if it would prove too difficult for an HD engine or maybe just they didn't want to do it, no idea. Like I said, one way or another, kind of a shame that they didn't do it because it looked really cool. Okay, the music stopped and there's this. I know what's happening. Okay, so it turns out I was right to save in this place because the game bugged out on me. Just after this phase, the health counter, uh, the, ha the health meter on top of the screen just did not. Uh, disappear and the game soft locked me into this specific phase so that's not exactly fun so I gotta repeat this all over again on a good note there is a slight chance that I will do a better job than I did last time so that's always something that I can work with Hopefully. I still wonder how the hell does that work that sometimes these guys... Ah, oh, there he is. That sometimes these guys jump so fast and sometimes they jump so incredibly slow. Oops, this is not good. This is really not good. Okay, I'll try to just make my stand over here. That was mighty unpleasant. Uh. Yes, I did save again, but to be honest, I did it mostly so... I would not risk having to repeat the same thing with the hoppers, where all of a sudden the game decides to bug out on me. I know it does not look too good, but hope you can forgive me for that one. Okay, in a way it's kind of looking worse and worse for me right now. Ah, damn it. I really could use some help right now. Okay, there's another... Armor, over here one health point, and over here... Well, kinda nothing, that's not too good. Ah, damn it. There we go.
Okay, there's a lot of stuff over here, and for some reason, I feel I'm gonna regret it. Let's rock. I'm gonna regret. Yes, I'm gonna regret picking it up. Of course, more of these headless idiots. If you think that I am salty because the game keeps throwing these guys at me, you would be totally right. I hate these screaming morons and I think that's just freaking cheap, that's all. You know what, I'll just switch to Tommy Gun, no point wasting ammunition that fast. But yes, as I said, I'm more like, yes, I said it, I freaking hate these screaming idiots, and I'm saying it right now, it's freaking cheap, it's just freaking cheap. But you can admit at least this weapon is pretty satisfying. I have no idea where the hell did this come from because I'm pretty damn sure that this game was, I mean this uh, weapon, was not present in the original uh, series Sam. So maybe that's... Oh, that's great. So maybe that's an addition to the Serious Sam Revolution. I mean, I'm not gonna complain, this weapon is actually pretty damn awesome. Even if it chews through ammo at incredible speeds. Okay, I'll try to round them up. And that's much better. Now let's just try not to get myself blown up. Yeah, that's, that's for the best. At first I thought about using the rocket launcher, but these Flying guys were way too... Oh, fuck you. You didn't hear anything. <laughs> yeah, but these flying guys were way too close and I didn't want to risk... What exactly just happened? Mm, okay. As long as I have something else than shells and explosives, I'm going to try to use it first. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. This should be enough. Oh, even better. They only need four. Okay, I'm not picking this one up just yet. Unless... No, that's not it yet. Oops, okay. Okay, but where is the secret health? Because it just said the secret health has been enabled, so I'm asking where? Yeah. 
And to be honest, I'm I don't exactly care that I'm wasting cannonballs on these guys. It's uh, it's way too enjoyable. I know that I cannot carry too many of these, but a lot. Oh well. Either it's me or this wall has a different color. Ooh. Oh, so that's the secret health. Whoops, okay. Okay, explode first. Don't want to get caught. Oh, come on. Okay, but that's... that's totally on me. That's interesting. I thought he would die from this. But okay, anything else or can I finally leave the level? Yes, thank you. I mean, if it weren't for that one hit from the cannonball, I would have ended this level with 200 health and 200 armor, so that's completely on me, but for one way or another, it didn't go too bad. It actually went pretty okay, I think. And that's it for today's episode. As I said, the level was really long, but it was pretty enjoyable, at least I hope it was enjoyable. I know that I had fun recording it, and I hope that you had fun watching it. And as usual, I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.